My path to tenure was a bit unusual. Ten years as a research scientist before I got a full professor position. My first conference presentation was in front of a thousand people. I scripted the beginning of my talk. I ended up memorizing that. But I got about 30 seconds in and I couldn't remember what the next words were and I froze up and then started you know, ad-libbing off the top of my head and it went much smoother and I just realized, my God, I've got to get better at this. So I've, I've pursued communication training ever since. When I started, people asked why. You can't put it on your CV. It's, it's not helpful towards tenure. I think the landscape has changed. There's so much more access to information, but I also think that has the flip side of having a lot more information you need to cut through in order to get your message out there. 10, 15, 20 years ago, people hoped that you, know, you do good science and it'll eventually trickle out to have an impact. But for science to have an impact, and that's what I ultimately got into this business for, uh, requires effective communication. I study tightwads and spendthrifts. I've been pretty lucky over the years that both the media and other academics have been interested in my work. and. Press coverage was a big component of my tenure research statement. The coverage uh, ranged from The Economist and NPR to outlets like Glamour and MTV. I'm someone who cares about impact, so I care about all of these outlets. MTV is as exciting as NPR. You know, I, I, I do err on the side of agreeing to too many interviews. You never know how someone's going to learn about your work, so I try to cast a wide net. Academics read things like Glamour. Sometimes we watch MTV. Plus, reporters sometimes ask questions that can spark a, a new idea. Like, oh, I never thought of it that way. So some colleagues, for many reasons, will make fun of you for doing this, but most are supportive. So I think it's been worthwhile. I, I'd encourage it. Take some chances with it and try not to keep your work a secret. Promotion and tenure decisions are perhaps the most explicit expression of our academic culture. As a dean, as a leader of a very interdisciplinary college, I had the opportunity to really expand our conversation about what is impact as it relates to promotion and tenure. Early on, there were two packages. One was well-cited articles published in high-impact journals, and we all agreed this was high-impact work. The second one turned out to be more controversial. Imagine it was actually in journals that were explicitly targeting practitioners. What it made us confront was what's impact. Is it highly cited journals or is it ensuring that the work that you do actually gets in the hands of people that can use them? In a healthy academic culture, I'd argue that it's actually both. 